So during that time in which I was very dominant, winning 13, 10 races of a year. His 80th career win, the best all time. How about getting it done eight times at Texas Motor Speedway? Kyle Busch a winner again. NASCAR made the rule changes to limit Cup Series drivers. First it was 10, well we went out there and won 7 of 10 or something like that. Kyle Busch in a familiar place, victory lane at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Kyle Busch is going to win at Bristol again. Kyle Busch, he's never won here in Xfinity Series competition at Watkins Glen. Guess what? He has now. The 18 goes to victory lane. So the 10 went to 7. Well, we went out there and won 5 of 7 or something like that. First time he's done it here in the Poconos. Checkered flag in the air. Once again, it's driver 18 who wins it. And then it went to 5. Now you're only allowed to run 5 races. And it's like you still get, you know, yelled at and complained about and whined about. Oh, man, I'm, I tell you, I am so sorry. I forgot it was the Kyle Busch show. That you shouldn't be there racing in the Xfinity Series. You're beating up on all these kids and blah, blah, blah. Kids are pedaling on the bottom of the racetrack. Chevy up high, Ford on the bottom, fans on their feet. Watch this finish coming down. And Kyle Busch, oh, he just hangs on. That was outstanding. Last time I checked, you know, when I was a kid, I was racing against the Cup guys and getting beat by them or beating them. Or, he's coming or down. Is Look it? out, he's oh. going to slide up. We've seen him bounce off the wall before, but it won't work <laughs> this time. Oh, here he comes. Kyle Busch is going to take the win. And that just gives you that measuring stick of, hey, am I, if I'm going to be able to go race on Sunday, am I going to be able to do it? Am I going to be able to be good on Sundays? Now, with, with no cup guys doing it, there's no measuring stick. You know, these guys are out there winning Xfinity Series races or whatever, thinking they're Jack the Bear and they're cool and all this. And then they get their way up to cup and then they run 30th every weekend and they're like, wow, this is, this is not what we expected. This is a whole different world. And so it's like, yeah, man, it sure is. So for people to think that I just cherry pick Xfinity races, um, I mean, the main message there for years was always, yeah, I mean, you wanna go out there and get extra track time, get on the racetrack, feel the tire, feel the car. And I'm just a racer, you know, I, I love to race. If I have anything that I'm able to race, I wanna, I wanna go race. And when I'm a Cup Series guy and you're at the weekend from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you're sitting there in your motorhome watching an Xfinity race on TV anyways, you're like, well, what am I doing sitting here? I might as well be out there doing it. And so thankfully, I always had sponsors. I had a great team with JGR. I had the opportunities that were always there right in front of me to go do it. And so I said, yeah, I'll go do it. just goes back to the point of working with different people and being able to develop uh, myself for Sunday and also develop the other people, car chiefs, crew chiefs, engineers for Sunday as well. Now, well I told him, I said, the only thing Kyle does is make us better. I, well, that's, that's exactly what I felt like I did. So I'm, oh, yeah. I'm proud of y'all taking off. Yeah. So you said something, we were at Road America, and you said something about, you know, AJ's car was the best. Yeah. And we sucked at yeah. strategy yeah. again. And yeah. I'm like, okay, let's listen to Kyle. Because hey, so, he's probably the best that's ever shipped between two shoes. Yeah. I got a mic on, but I don't care. <laughs> so it's like, let's listen to him for the crying out loud. I hear you. No, it's been good. It's been fun to watch. So good, good job to you guys. So, yeah. I would say now that I'm done with Xfinity, my open time frame is uh, is going to be spent with Brexton. I can't get it. You got to put it on first. I'm. Brexton, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow, you're in the mood already. Dad, it's not going for me, Mister. You know, I guess I'm still going to be developing talent, but now it's going to be developing my son. He races a little bit here or there on the weekends when we're going and traveling to some of these places, or I'll just stay home on a, on a Saturday if we only have a fly-to race that we go to for the Sunday event, you know? So working with him, that's certainly gonna be uh, some of that, some, some family time and, um, and downtime. I think one final thought for people to remember um, me as an Xfinity Series driver is just, I'm a racer. Kyle Busch becomes the youngest driver in NASCAR nationwide history to now win 25 races. Look, I, I love to race, whether it's racing in Cup, Xfinity, trucks, late models, whatever it might be. You know, obviously I've proven that over the years that whenever there's a race, I want to be in it. I'm just a racer. And I think that shows again to today where 
My son wants to be a racer, that's fine, that's great. I'm, I don't want to push him at all to do it. If he wants to do it, we're going to do it right and he's going to get better at it and we're going to go that way. But um, I'm at the racetrack, you know. My wife, Samantha, she never grew up in the racing world, in the racing space, and now she's starting to figure out, man, this is really what you did as a kid. This is what you went through as a kid to become what you are today. And I'm like, yeah. And she goes, oh, well, I can see now how all of that can, can be what it is. So to me, it's just pure racer. Racers are racers. They want to race when they can race and get in whatever they can get in. KB, congratulations on your milestone 100th victory in the Xfinity Series, man. That's a that's a huge accomplishment. I know you're extremely proud of that. It's a it's a neat deal, obviously. And uh, out of the 38 victories that uh, I was fortunate enough to share with you, I would say they all have great memories. Um, but I would say the one that's most meaningful to me would be our championship victory at Homestead in 2009. Uh, what a great season! One that you know, I will always cherish. Um, and, I, and I'll say that, and in, in most of the competitors will definitely not agree with me on this, uh, but I would say that every time you race on Saturday, the crew chiefs, the teams, uh, the drivers, they all had to bring their A-game, man. Uh, so you raised the bar for everyone, and it was, um, you know, even though it was difficult uh, to race against you, each time you made uh, everyone better at what they do um, because you, you raised the benchmark. So thanks for your contribution uh, to the Xfinity Series. Um, but I will say this, we're gonna try to make it as difficult as we can uh, for you to get win number 102 at Atlanta this weekend. Congrats KB on uh, your 101, hopefully 102 wins today at Atlanta in the Xfinity Series. Um, I think it's a mark that's never gonna be surpassed Personally, my favorite moment was uh, Coda this year, right? Going to a racetrack for the first time, and obviously you displaying your driving talents, but I feel like we could have really stomped them worse than we did if you'd really unleashed everything you had. So um, just happy being a small part of it, and congrats. Hey, KB, here this is your last race in the Xfinity Series. Man, sorry to hear that. Uh, you've been a, been a true pleasure to work with. Whether we're working with each other, against each other, you always make me better. I think back to 2008, our uh, win at Mexico City. Man, I don't know if I've ever worked so hard in the garage area. I remember at the end of happy hour, I was wondering what to do to the car. Your response was, I don't care, put whatever in it. We'll win no matter what. And we did. We're batting a thousand percent, buddy. Good luck.